following contest is a last woman standing match. Making her way to the ring from Ladies and gentlemen, York, it's now time for one-on-one -on -one action. And Michael, it sounds to me like this crowd already picked the one who they want to win this match. And now it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for our last man standing match. It's put up or shut up time, Cole. Both these superstars think they're the baddest on the roster. And you know what? Now's the time to prove it. This matchup has the potential to be special. We could be moments away from an instant classic. The Pirate Princess Kairi Sane has won championship gold everywhere she set sail during her illustrious career. Yeah, that includes becoming the first ever Mae Young Classic winner. Sane may look sweet, but she is a force to be reckoned with in the ring. It's no secret, guys, that the last man standing match tests a superstar like no other contest. Nowhere else do the rules dictate you must decimate your opponent so much that they cannot answer the count of ten. Looking a little dazed here. Yeah, she's definitely not looking herself right now, Cole. The thing about the unique rules of this match, as Michael was saying, is that superstars will go to amazing extremes to keep their opponents down for a 10 count. Oh, that's the truth, Saxton. Last Man Standing has definitely resulted in some unique usage of everything from weapons to pay-per-view sets and everything in between. She's absorbing some offense here. But you can bet there's still plenty of gas left in her tank. And you just get that feeling that being outside the ring so much here in this match will eventually come back to haunt her. This is where we might just see one of these women pull away from the other for good. You know, I'd say matches like this really drive superstars to take risks they normally wouldn't take. An example that immediately comes to mind would be Shane McMahon's actions at Unforgiven in 2003. Back in from the floor. One, two, three. To elaborate more than that Unforgiven 2003 match Corey was talking about, that night we saw Shane leap off the top rope of the Unforgiven set down toward his opponent, Kane. And unfortunately for Shane, however, Kane moved at the last moment, and it was all academic from there. The referee could have counted to 100. Shane was not getting up.
She's looking a little unsteady. Her opponent clearly has her number here. I really expected much more from her here tonight. I'm pretty shocked to see her absorb so much punishment. Well, she's been able to stay close to her opponent throughout this entire match, but this might just be where her luck runs out. Harsh impact. Guys, one of my favorite matches from the In Your House era would have to be December 1996 Armageddon Rules match between The Executioner and The Undertaker, which many say was a precursor to today's Last Man Standing match. And this match is going to continue. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Big backdrop. As Byron was saying, Armageddon Rules was undoubtedly a precursor to today's Last Man Standing match. The difference then, however, was the rep that this could be all she wrote. Ooh, that's what makes her so dangerous. Gentlemen, I think Kyrie Sane may have just secured this match. Two. Look at this. We're looking at complete domination here. The competition was fierce at the first ever May Young Classic. NXT stars, top international talent, some former. She might have it. Damn it. This could be it. I don't know. Sane can recover. Probably not. Around the world on the WWE Network. WWE fans are glued to their sets watching this match. Michael brought us back to the inaugural Mae Young Classic. After 31 matches, it all culminated in the finals held in Las Vegas as thousands of fans and a handful of top WWE stars and legends looked on. Or a pump handle. Pump handle comes. Suplex. That has got to be it. The ref wasn't finished. Given the amazing shape these competitors are in, I'm not sure it's even possible to keep one of them down for the 10 count. Seven, eight, nine, Chalk up another one. Let's take another look at the incredible hardcore action. Almost forgot about this one. And here's the last piece of the puzzle. Here is your winner, Flores. Strategy fell into place with that victory. Hey, she was the better woman of the two tonight. It's that simple.